Hi everyone, I am Professor Tiwari and in this video we will be talking about change in human response. The first response that comes from human beings or employees when a change is incorporated in an organization is denial. Denial is done during the initial stages. The member deny the need for change and remain in a state of numbness. They work as usual and there is no progress exists. Employees focus on known and neglecting themselves future. The way or need to change is not explored by the employees. Employees have ignored the signals of the new changes and managers have not given them a real chance to register their worries and reaction, which causes more negativity in the environment. The second response which comes after denial is resistance. Employees generally felt self-doubt, anger, depression, anxiety, frustration, fear, and uncertainty that accompany major changes. They link about leaving the organization, they take too many sick leaves, they take a lot of absenteeism, and illness increases. During this phase, manager needs to allow people to express their negativity, their personal fears and worries, and to encourage them to share their problems with other colleagues. After resistance comes exploration. During this phase, the employees begin to think things are improving and show a renewed interest in work and cooperation begin to happen, which results in more creativity and more positive feelings within the group. Employees focus on external environment and less on internal conflict and worries. After exploration comes this commitment, which is one of the positive responses of employees. In the commitment phase, employees often create or revitalize their mission and develop an action plan to make it work. People identify with their objectives and are willing to put in extra effort to achieve them. These are the few responses which happen and shown by the people or by the employees when the change is done. Thank you so much.